Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about moving data from Excel to Windows Azure. Now, the other day I ran across a an article, um, and it, it talked about using some uh, fake data, Olympic data, to move, uh, it's basically a, a, an Excel spreadsheet, and it moves data from that Excel spreadsheet to Windows Azure, and it uses SQL Server integration services. Well, I'm going to show you a trick to where we don't have to really use integration services, but we can use the import-export wizard. And so I'll have a link um, below in my blog on um, where all this stuff's at. So, but for now, let's just get started. Let me give you a quick introduction. We're going to uh, log into Windows Azure, create a SQL Server, create a database. Then we're going to connect to that database with Management Studio. Then I'm going to show you that trick on how to um, use the import export wizard. And then we'll use that to move data from Excel to Windows Azure. So let's go and get started. Um, the data we're going to move. Um, the data we're going to move looks like this. It's um, got four different, well, it's got a copyright notice. We're not going to move that. Then it's got four little tabs, um, which will turn into tables. And the first row has the actual uh, column header um, or the column name. So um, we have disciplines, events, medalists, and sports. So we want to get that over to Windows Azure. And so the first thing we need to do, I, let me open up Windows Azure. I've got my login information here. I'm going to sign in. And let's create our SQL Server database. And so right here on databases, I don't have one set up yet, but I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to create a database. And let's just call it uh, SQL Training Online. And then I need to create a new server for that database to live in. So I'm just going to go Next. I have to have a login name and a password. And this is what we're going to use when we connect with Management Studio. So you, when you do that, you'll want to remember those. And let's complete it. And so it takes just a few seconds here to actually create this uh, database. But I'm going to pause the video for a second here while it works. Okay, so we have um, our database created and our server set up. Um, now we need to find the connect string for it. So let's click on the SQL Training Online database. And I'll scroll down just a little bit. On the right side, it'll give you a server name. And I'm just going to grab that server name. I'm going to copy it. And let's head over to Management Studio. So I've got Management Studio open right here. And I need a new connection, a database engine. And I will paste that in there. And we we'll use the SQL Train Online login and the password we set up. And let's connect. Now it won't let me connect because I did not open the IP address. Um, so there's a firewall. So let's head back over and get that setting um, correct here. So um, if I actually just click on this Manage button, um, it'll prompt me to put my IP address in there. Or I can click on um, Manage Allowed IP Addresses over here. And I want to do that. And I want to actually add my current, it knows my current client IP. So I click that and that's in there now. I need to save it. And so now it should allow me in. So let's go over and make sure that works. So I didn't change anything. I'm just going to hit connect again. And now I'm getting in. So I have, I'm, now I'm connected to Management Studio. It looks almost exactly like having any time you've connected with Management Studio. And I've got the database sitting here. Well, what I want to do is... Um, I want to use what they have over here in the Olympics database and they have a Word document that tells you what to do so I want to grab that and create a create a table from it so let me open up that document and it tells you about some prerequisites and everything um, gives you a little picture Excel document SSIS into Azure that's what we're going to do but what I'm looking for is this create statement I just want this create database statement. And I could have did it myself, but um, so let's open up a new spreadsheet here, or a new query window. Put our create statement in, execute. And it's creating a database on Windows Azure. So now if I refresh these databases, then I've got my database there. Now here comes the trick. So um, normally I would right click on this Olympics database and I would go to task and I would go to the import export wizard. Well, it's not there on this um, inside of this 
uh, Azure connection. So they must have just Microsoft must have disabled that. So all I have to do though is connect to a, my local database right here, localhost SQL 2012 Express. So that's my local database, and it can be any other SQL Server, regular SQL Server. And I'm just going to expand the databases and go to any database in there. Right click, go to Task, and then you're not going to be able to see that. Let me see if I can get this to where you can see it. Um, right click, go to Task, and Import Data. And now I've got my Import Export Wizard. So now what I can do is um, just go through the steps here, just take a few minutes, and we'll get the whole thing um, moved into Azure. So first off, I want to connect to my Excel spreadsheet. And let me pull that back up for a minute. I need to close that, or else it'll be locked, um, and we won't be able to use it. So the first thing we want is Excel. It's over in my Downloads folder, right there. And first row has column names. Next. And I want to connect over to my Azure. So I should still have that in my... Oh, don't have it there. I need to go back over and grab that connect string. So I'm back over in Azure. And let me head back over. And grab the server. Where's the server name? Oh, need to get all the way to the database level. You can see the Olympics database is there now. And here's the connection again. We'll grab that. Back over here, I will paste it in. Need my connection. And you'll see that the Olympics database shows up there. So I'm connected. Now let's go next. We're going to copy data from one tables or views. And I'm just going to click the spreadsheets I want to take over. Now there is another trick that I didn't mention. Um, you have to have a clustered index on all the tables in order to move them this way. So what I want to do is double click that little icon, edit the SQL, and add a column that's basically an identity column. And I've got a script up here. I'll just grab that ID column. I'm going to add that to all the tables. So I'll just paste it in there. And so now the disciplines table has that ID. I need to go to the events, edit the SQL, paste it in. I need to go to the meta list, edit the SQL, paste it in. And then one more, the sports, edit the SQL, and paste it in. All right, and so now all we have to do is go in to um, just hit next and run immediately. Notice that we could save it as an SSIS package. Um, the import export wizard actually creates SSIS packages. So we're just using it as a shortcut so we don't have to open up SSIS. And so at this point, we're just going to run it. We'll go next and finish. And we'll watch this thing go through its little work here. It only takes about 10 seconds or so. You can see it's moving right through. Um, and one little step, and then it'll start copying all the data. And that's moving along pretty nicely. You can see that the meta list has, um, is the biggest table here we're working with. All done. Now let's see if this thing really worked. So we'll come back over here, um, open up our Olympics tables. There's our tables. And let's just say select star from the um, medalist. That's the big table, right? And we need to change our database over database context to Olympics. Run it. And there's some data. Taking a few seconds to bring it all back because there's 32,000 records, but we've got a lot of data in there. And so that's it. So as always, if you find this helpful, please leave a comment below, click the like button, or subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com and I hope you enjoyed this free video. <laughs>